the bed. Yes, still in the bed frame. But is it going to be rock proof? Rock proof. <laughs> um, x ray did. Portland's quote of the day that started something. I said, imagine Disney movies without songs because Autumn was humming the Mulan, please bring honor to us, please bring honor to us, please bring honor to us all. Because I was playing that on Ocarina yesterday. Yep. And then... And then I was just like, please bring honor to us. Let's, Please bring honor to us. Let's get down to business. Let's get down to business. Should wouldn't, I beat the Huns? It wouldn't be the same. Did they send me daughters when I asked for sons? I said, I love it. I love this idea. It's one box. Instead of doing two boxes by the wheel wells, we get one box. gonna record your face because you're beautiful. As you poke me in the eye. Building the bed frame, having this support box under the cross beams. So here we go. really strong so our fat cat doesn't brace with them. <laughs> it's not where I thought you were going with that but I like that. It's funny. Oh where did you think I was going with that? <laughs> Why is it so hard? Mm -hmm. Yay! Yeah, this is gonna work. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> We didn't want to mess up our headliner material because this does look nice, but it gets so hot under there. There's barely any you insulation. Insulate. Yeah. You need to put the, not the polyisoboard, board, not the spray foam, Finsulate. That's what we need to put. Finsulate, yep. I'm right now, I'm to the left. So I'm just taping up the wires under the headliner so that when we push the insulation in, it won't unhook anything because these are hooked up here and these are the lights on top of our vehicle. I don't know if those are called, like outside head, forehead lights, or forehead. forehead lights on the van. That's a thing. So yeah, it's pretty warm under there right now, but after we insulate it, I'm sure it'll keep a lot of the heat out. So, I'm taping this Reflectix, not as a vapor barrier, but as a hey, let's probably protect these wires from getting all weird and fuzzy and pushed around. And also, when this has an air gap, it reflects heat. From what I understand, even through metal, it should reflect the heat away from coming inside. And then we're going to also put, obviously, the thin slate under this. And then we're going to put the headliner back on. And that's just going to be the end of that. That's right. Yeah, and hopefully I don't get 5 million metal tape cuts like last time. It's not fun, let me tell you. Sadness. Yeah. Sadness and sorrow. <laughs> Sadness and sorrow. Sing the sorrow! Now we gotta play that whole entire album. Okay. Right now. Let's do it. See what we have here. Snow in Florida. <laughs> this is what my 
hair is like when I was tangled. So this is the reason we bought the Thinsulate. Because this is the piece that will go in the upper compartment, the forehead of the van, because we couldn't fit those poly iso boards here. It's too curved. It's too curved. That would just take up too much space and be too complicated. Yeah, because our plan is to put this back. back in, and the poly iso boards wouldn't fit up there, and plus it's curved and all that. So we got the thin slate, which has been cut to fit. So now we can put it in. That's all right. That's gonna make a big difference for insulation for our to resist the heat transfer from the aluminum metal to get inside. Yeah. All right. Look at that. So instead of just covering up the pre-drilled bolt screws for these little tie-down hooks, we decided to drill through our 2x4 under our bed so that we can use those holes and bought bolt screws that are longer that fit yeah, throughout the van so that we can still use them because obviously we're going to have you know, camping gear and just stuff around our van that we're probably going to want to keep from flying around. So I think this is going to be really helpful and it was something that already came with our van we just had to buy the longer bolts. So I'm happy about that. First time laying down in our bed. You get to be right between his legs. Yeah. It's a virtual experiment. Yeah. Just barely fit. Fun fact, our bed in this Ram Promaster high top is thank you, truck. Is exactly the height. Of Cortland. Six foot one and a half. But show show how it goes from my head to my toes. This actually we did not secure to the wall under the bed because we knew it wouldn't show. So we were like, well, it bows in a little. Maybe it'll give Cortland a tiny bit more space. Well, so you actually do have a gap. I don't know about that because it's exactly, if you look, it's like my head yeah, is touching, touching and my t my feet are touching. So. Well, like it diagonally. works, but usually I end up sleeping more like this, so it'll definitely work. You just have to spoon me a lot. Yeah, that's the plan. <laughs> look at you already have bed head. Bed head, yeah. <laughs> Establishing a groove. I mean, I'm all about those grooves. Basically, my entire song technique is just making a groove. All the way through. Well, it's worked. That's your third one you've cut, right? This is the safety first weakling technique. My leg is behind the clocks, and I am only going this way. If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. We do have a little bit more footage that is extra crappily filmed of us putting in the ceiling panels, but uh, we don't really know if we'll post that. So anyway, just thanks so much to our friends and family for giving us extra materials lying around your garage and just supporting us in general. Alright, have a great day!